The views and opinion expressed are those of the advertiser and not necessarily of OSA International, the Orale Network, the Orale Roundtable Interviews, or OSA Radio and its affiliates. It is intended for information and entertainment use only. Always consult your legal, business, and medical profession and or outlets. Buenos amigos, les habla Monty. I would like to welcome you to the Monty Show exclusive on the Orale Network. Sponsored by personal injury and auto accident attorney Braden Bennett. With offices in Austin and in San Antonio, Texas. Él es el abogado de la gente. Also, to start the show, I would like to welcome and introduce you the young lady, the new Tejano female artist, Gabriela. Yes. Welcome to the Machi Show, Gabriela. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And to start, I would like to know a little bit about you. Tell the audience who you are. Gotcha. Okay, so I am 21 years old. Just recently turned 21, fresh, legal. Happy um, birthday. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm originally from Tampa, Florida, born and raised. So I've been in San Antonio since August um, of this year. So it's only been a few months, but I love it so far. I'm a recording, really? yeah. Awesome. I'm recording more music. I'm a recording artist with GT Digital. So, uh -huh. yeah. Just well, out here. What's your latest event? My latest event was actually the Tejano Music Awards, which was November 26th, this uh -huh. past Saturday. So that was super cool. I loved it. I had so much fun. That was a 42nd annual. Yes, it was. Award. Yes, and I was in the um, Young Emerging Artist segment that right. Shelly Lattis put together. Um, and it was me, Annika, Maria Paula, and Carla Cristina. And we all got to perform and be in yes, this one did. segment and just, you know, show the new the new wave, as people like exactly. to call it, of Tejano. And I was very blessed and honored to do it. You know, it was exciting. Like, who doesn't want to perform at the Tejano Oh, Musical yeah. Awards? And I saw your videos, and, and it's, it's, you're a great singer. You're a great mm -hmm. singer. Tell me a little bit about that song that you were singing. It's one of your originals or one of the songs that you uh, recently recorded? Yeah, so it is my first original, actually, as Gabriela. Um, and it is called I Am What. And it's basically my Toxica song. I, <laughs> I'm the one begging the guy for forgiveness. But then oh. throughout the song, because when it was written, it was more like you know, Cesar Morquetro, He read, he wrote the song, uh -huh. and he was like, it was very like, oh, come back to me, my love, you know, like I'm sorry, da da da. But the way I interpreted it, and the way I play with the song is, I play with the feelings of a breakup, which is not just the sadness, but there's anger. You're angry, you right. know, like exactly. someone left sure. you. So throughout the song, I just get raspier. My voice is very raspy. Yeah. I get angrier and I just, I'm like, okay, I am what to come back. Like, what are you doing? You know, like, <laughs> I know I messed up, but like, still come back to me. Like, you know, like yeah. kind of that reverse psychology in yeah. a way. Now this song is the genre. What is it? Cumbia, ranchera, or what so is it? So it's a, it is a cumbia. Um, it is a cumbia for sure, yeah. I am what is more, what I wanted to do when I went into the studio, I wanted the flair of a cumbia more from like 90s, early 2000s. Uh -huh. That's what I was going for because I like that nostalgic feeling of music. So I wanted that sound, but I had to find a way to modernize it as well. Right. Which is when my voice comes in. So it's like, I kind of, I feel like I feel like I did a good job. And you Dusty, did a good job. my great producer, job. Okay. he he did a great job, Mariano. Um, Tambien, who I work with in uh -huh. the studio, he did an amazing job. Like, I gave my idea and they made it come to life. Well, you know, you remind me of Selena. Oh, when I saw you, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty good judge of character. When I first uh, saw Selena, I didn't know who she was. And I, I said, man, that girl's gonna make it. Well, I had the same vibes. When I saw you, you were performing, she was performing in Rockport. <clears throat> She opened up for Ram and David Lee Gauza and yeah. Victor Anko, those guys out there. And I saw her dancing, her, your moves reminded me of Salina. <sighs> she, Salina's back, but this is Gabriela. This is Gabriela. This is Gabriela. And that's something, you know, I thank you first of all for the compliment. I mean, Salina, to be compared to someone like her, it's like, who wouldn't? 
want to be compared to that. She's like the Whitney Houston of Thano. Like she is literally the queen of Thano. But I think it's also important to remember that my individuality as well, exactly. which is what I push for and like, because I get a lot of those comments. This, like if you go on my social media, it's like, oh, just right. so many, like a line oh, of yeah. Selena comments. But you know what? At the same time, like for the longest time, I pushed myself away from it and I didn't even sing Selena. I didn't even acknowledge her as anything because I didn't want that comparison. But then the more I thought about it, it was like, I'm gonna sing your songs regardless. I'm, yes. but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them my own, and I'm gonna still be my own person. I'm gonna make my own music. I'm gonna still be my own person. I'm you're, gonna wear what I want, you you're, know. You're the only one that I've heard that sounds like her. Yeah. That can hit those notes. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> so, thank who, you. who inspired you? In general. Uh -huh, in general. Musically, oh, there's so many. There are so many. Um, but Rocío Ducal for sure. Um, oh, Rocío Ducal, oh, man. Yes. I love her. In terms of like, I love boleros. But like I've always, I've always been drawn. My mom would play music growing up, like in the mm -hmm. kitchen, and I was always drawn to like boleros and like the soft music. And I didn't even know who Rocío Ducal was really until like the last two or three years. But I was listening to her music all along. But it was because of my mom. Amor and eterno. Amor eterno. Yes. That's my favorite song. She is like the queen mm -hmm. of all queens. And then you have people like Celia Cruz. You have people like Shelly Lares. You have Yerli Arenas. You have so many people, Stephanie Montiel, yes. that are just out here and they, they had they were like the blueprints up for us for the mm -hmm. upcoming wave again of Tejano. They they set the ground and now we're taking off running because of people wow. like that. So now who in your family has the talent? Where did you get the talent from? My dad is actually an amazing country singer. Exactly. He is. Yeah. Great. Like he's an amazing so I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll get mad if I stay serious. No, um, but no, my dad actually, it's funny because a, a lot of my love for country music is because of my dad. Um, growing up, he would play country music like nonstop, like Luke Bryan, Aaron Lewis, um, Luke Combs. Like, I love country. You know, like Kane Brown, people like that. And so I think he has a good ear, my dad, for mm -hmm. music. <laughs> um, but my sister can sing pretty well in her range she likes to uh -huh. stay in her range which is fine you know I, I think she's great but she has more of like a she has a really good soulful voice right yeah but no one really sings so what's your next uh, goal what what are you gonna do next uh, what's your next event my next event actually i know i have one. Oh, i'm doing a uh it's the toy drive I'm doing a toy drive because you know Chris is coming around yes oh so, that's nice yeah i'm gonna do a little toy drive here in san antonio um but the next, I have, you know, private gigs as well. I honestly, we're going to just see. I have things in the works, but they're not set in stone yet. So I like to, I don't like to say anything until they happen. Right. Like until that contract is signed. Exactly. Like until we are at right. that point, you know. Exactly. Because you don't want to get your hopes up and you also don't want to get the people that are watching their hopes up as well. So I have things coming. For sure. So do you plan to stay in San Antonio? But for now, oh, for sure. I mean, my lease doesn't end until next year. I have to stay. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, for sure, San Antonio right now is my home. So, Gabriela, I hate to uh, uh, stop asking questions, but we're gonna go to break. Yes. We'll be right back. So we have some more with Gabriela. Orale. Orale. Have you heard the good news? About what? About Orale San Antonio. It's a brand new online radio station. They advertise and they promote your business 24-7, locally and nationwide on Orale San Antonio. Whether it's advertising, branding, social media, or marketing, start advertising your business today with Orale San Antonio online radio station. Got candy paint, paint. dripping off the low low. Got screens 13s on the low low. Everybody looking clean at the car show. Everywhere that I go, at the low low. Got candy paint, dripping off the low low. Got screens 13s on the low low. Everybody looking clean at the car show. Everywhere that I go, at the low low. 
Rolling on choppers of 13 inches Everything chrome, airbags and switches Got so much candy, all they do is take pictures Cruising down military, money is the mission Only ride custom, everyday hustling Seen the homie spend 100k like it ain't nothing Pulling up in the line, everybody got bang Welcome back to the Monkey Show! Again, we're back with the new Tejano female artist, Gabriela. Yes. Gabriela, Hello. let's continue with the conversation here. Yes, please. Now, I'm going to ask you, what made you move to San Antonio from Florida to San Antonio? Okay, great question. Yes. Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> San Antonio? San Antonio, first of all, I fell in love with it the first time I came here because I had a gig in San Antonio at Market Square, Historic Market uh -huh. Square. And so I was doing the gig one day and then I was actually with my dad. He was like, have you ever seen, because back when I was younger, my uncle was here from the Air Force. So we had been here, but I didn't remember anything really. He was like, you want to see the river walk? Like, let's just go, whatever. And so I went, I loved it. And I was like, wow, I love San Antonio. Not just from the river walk, but just how everything kind of was. It reminded me of home, you know? Um, so I was talking to Jim Luna, Jim Luna, Jim Luna, don't find me Jim, um, <laughs> about, Hi, Jim. <laughs> about what I should be doing um, because he's been helping me with bookings, like with Quarter Moon yes. Productions, he's been putting me in shows and just getting my name out there. And he was like, if you're going to move anywhere, you need to go to San Antonio. Like anywhere in Texas, you need to go to San Antonio because it is, number one, the capital of Tejano. Exactly. Like it you're is right the heart yeah. of Tejano. And so I was like, okay, okay. And he was like, also... It's in the middle of everything. So when you drive, like, Texas is huge, first of all. So, like, any city is going to take you at least two hours to get to. But he was like, when you drive, it won't be as bad. And just San Antonio, that's that's where you need to be. So a month later, we came back for another show at Market Square, actually. Yes. And my dad and I, we started looking around at apartments and stuff. And my mom helped get, like, a realtor. And we locked, play, we blocked a place in. Mm -hmm. and pretty much the rest is history. I've been here since August. Um, well, welcome to San Antonio. Thank you. Gabriela, now, do you have a band right now? I actually, <clears throat> ju like, I mean like two days ago, got uh -huh. something together. Um, I have musicians that are always, I don't want to say on standby, but you know when you have yes, musicians that you continuously play with because you're like, they know your set, they know you, they know the rhythm. So I have musicians like that, that I'm still, you know, I will always keep with me, but I actually just had Jim Luna again. <laughs> Jim keeps popping Jim up, Luna. he's so famous. <laughs> he was like, okay, I got this band together with you. I want y'all to do gigs and like, let's go. Like, let's just go, yeah. no more tracks. Like, let's just go. Because for me, it was either tracks or band, you know? Yeah. But the thing that's a little hard with when people want bands is it gets more expensive, you know? Right, oh yeah. It, it uh, gets a lot more expensive. It, yes. and. <clears throat> I got four band members and I got myself, uh, it's, ha it's hard to work with like 500, 600 because they want to be paid, which I, I know get. That's, I know that. You know? I can tell you. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the and real. also the musicians, you got to have, everybody has their own world and you have to click together. You yes. know, you have to click. But I don't see a problem. I don't see you having a problem because of your talent and what you can do. The attention, the attention that you get, uh, it, you know, I would love to play with you. you know, uh, keyboards thank you. And stuff, you know. But I think, um, like I said, I see a, a future in you. You have the potential. Uh, if everything is done right, and good thing that, okay, who are your managers? My parents are my oh. managers. Whoop, whoop. Yep. That's, I was that's, like, hey, y'all. are the best managers. They are because my parents will always have my back. They're not going to do me dirty, you know. They do, we'll just fight each other, but it's fine. 
You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> you, need a, you, you need a good manager uh, to, uh, uh, you know, that knows about finances because being a performer is yes. one thing, but managing, you know, it, it's it's a business. It becomes a business. It is. You know. It is. And, and you need that backup. And my parents are there. Exactly. And my sister's a lawyer too, so. Oh. So I put about. her to work. Uh, I put, I'm like, can you read this contract, please? Whenever anything comes, even if it's if it's a brand deal, if it's yeah, a show it's contract, awesome. it's I always send things to my sister because you got to be careful. You have to be careful because you yes, don't yeah. know there could be one sentence in there that could change the course of everything. So. I have my sister, I got my parents, I got a good team. Well, that's, uh, that's good because, uh, I don't want to talk, this is not about Selena, it's about you. But Selena had her father, her father was, was you know, the, the manager. Yeah. So, so it's so, good, I have I have my parents, yeah. yeah. That'll keep me, they'll keep me grounded, you know. They'll put, they put me in my place. They, they don't care to hurt my feelings. So, that's another thing. And, it, and it, <laughs> it's good that they're dealing with, with the, uh, you know the the public that they're dealing with uh, the you know the contracts and all that because yes. you don't want to get involved with with them because you know it yeah. lets them do all that right the the first I think it's important as well to like remember you are the artist you're the artist you yes. know you're the artist so we're gonna do the artist stuff and just sing our booties off and uh, the hard work goes to the parents I like that I like that mindset I put the hard work on the parents as I always have. Okay. So. That's good. <laughs> so how were you when you started singing? Like in general or just? Yeah, in general, yeah. Since I could talk, honestly. I don't think I was a good singer as a kid though, to be honest. I think I sounded pretty bad when I listened back to videos. <laughs> but yeah, I started ever since I could talk. I've always done talent shows. I did musical yeah. theater. I've done, like I would beg my mom to let me do stuff. Like, uh -huh. and she, I think my mom knew since I came out of her. Sorry, that was a little vulgar, but <laughs> since I was pushed out the womb that I was going to be, because I was just, she always tells me I was that rambunctious child. I had a head full of hair. I had these big lips. I was this little brown moranita, like crazy. I was just, I was the one to start things. Oh. I was the firecracker, the prankster, but I, I begged her. I was like, Let, I want to do this talent show. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Anything I could. Anything I could. Well, I mean, she's not only a performer. She's also have has is going to have a career, and she is being educated in psychology, right? I have my psychology, my bachelor's degree in psychology. I got, wow. yeah, I got my associate's degree before I even got into senior year of high school. So you can read my mind, right? Absolutely. I've been doing it this entire time. <laughs> this entire time. I I've diagnosed you. I, I'm just kidding. No. I don't when I actually I when I studied psychology I wanted to do criminal psychology uh -huh. so I wanted to read criminals which means you yes. had to interview the criminals but a lot of people don't want that job so it was a high paying job because um, <laughs> everybody's like I'm good you have to actually sit in a room like mm -hmm. with a criminal and you ask them okay why did you commit this crime you know and then they have to speak to you like oh. I guess once if you start singing to them, they might open up. Right? I'll be like, let me sing you a song first and then you'll see. But yeah, no, I, I definitely, I was very into the human mind. And I use that for marketing as well with social media. I like, use a lot of psychology uh -huh. for my posts and for yes. how I do things. Like, so it's good. It works out. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> You're full of, full of energy, you know. Thank um, you. Yes. That, that's awesome, you know. So uh, what is are you, uh, are you thinking about recording again? Uh, how many songs do you have, actually? I have one that's out, two recorded, going back to the studio to record two more in December. So, uh -huh. so what busy. is your goal? Do you, do you want to do a complete, well, CD? They used to call them albums. You know, now they're... MPs, albums, MP3s, yeah. MP3s, MP4s, whatever. You know, My so. goal, <coughs> truthfully, to have an EP ready to submit to the Latin Grammys for next year. And to at least be nominated. That is my goal. Get an it's, award, yeah. it's it's a stretch, but I feel like go big or go home. Shoot for the moon, even if you fall, you land amongst the stars. That's what I say. There you go. Yes. There you go. That's kinda that, that's awesome. Yeah. So again, like I said, you know, I see a lot of potential in you and I by next year I'm pretty sure that, that hopefully you get an award. With your talent, you know.
you got a beautiful voice. Thank you. How often do you sing? Like uh, at home, you rehearse all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. What does time. your mother say? Shut up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my no. parent, my parents are very supportive. <laughs> um, sometimes she joins in with me. She does like a third, like a second harmony, and I'm like, whoa. Can you hit a note? Can she hit a note? She can hit a note pretty well. Yeah. Again, Rosie Luca, I learned from her and. Right. If she was singing the song bad, I wouldn't have recognized it when I heard Rosia sing it. So there you go. <laughs> I heard you singing a song. You were singing a song. Which song were you singing? There was a song. Oh, somewhere over the rainbow. Yes. You sang it. That was beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, so uh, and I would like to to one day hear you sing a uh, uh, Devla because you got the voice. Oh, gotcha. Gabriela. Man, man, I, I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank I want to thank you very much for coming to the Monty Show. Thank you for having you know, me. The network, you know, and um, we're going to have to uh, say goodbye for now. And maybe uh, one day you can come back. I hope When so. you're famous, big time. Well, you're already getting famous. Oh, don't hype me up too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I'm, I'm very, very humbled and very glad that this industry has taken me in the way they have. And... It's only up from here. It's up to this you. is just the beginning, y'all. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, uh, joining us with the Monty Show here with uh, the new Tejano female artist Gabriela. Thank you, Gabriela. Thank you again. God bless you. Thank you.